welcome back to another episode of This Week with Cheek. You must be thinking, I did not know my math teacher could throw down like that. I mean, I've got some hang time, and I have got a math concept that's going to help us determine just how much hang time, or at least the distance that I've been flying in the air on these incredible dunks. I want to introduce to you the Pythagorean Theorem. Yes, this Pythag has swag, and it's gonna help us determine the peak of this cheek, right? So let's get started. Now, the first thing you've gotta know is the Pythagorean Theorem only applies to right triangles. So I quickly wanna remind you the parts of a right triangle. Is this not awesome I'm doing math on my backboard? Yeah! So we've got a right triangle and the parts of a right triangle are real basic, but you need to know them. So we've got two side lengths that are gonna represent the legs of a right triangle. Now, you can always determine the legs of a right triangle by finding the two side lengths that are adjacent to or beside the right angle. The other side length is called our, this is a funny word, hypotenuse, and it's always opposite the right angle. So the legs, are going to be beside. The hypotenuse is going to be opposite. I'm going to spell hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Hip -hop I mean hypotenuse. All right, so now once you've got the parts of a triangle, you need to know the formula. So we've got a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And all that's telling us is to take the two legs, the two shorter side lengths. So your legs are always gonna be the shorter side lengths. And you're gonna square both, both of the side lengths. So really this is gonna be leg squared plus leg squared, and it will always equal the square of the longest side or the hypotenuse squared. I'm gonna say hippo squared. So that's our formula, and that can help us determine any one of the missing side lengths. So we're gonna use this to help us determine my next dunk. So I want you to take a look at this triangle that I have here. Uh, the first leg, I'm gonna be taking off six feet from the rim. So if you look down here, I've got a blue line in chalk and it's labeled six feet. So I'm gonna be taking off from the X. And then my rim, this is going to be, this is a really cool, Oh yeah, up and down, electric. This should be about eight feet. All right, and look at there, right at eight feet, okay? And then we're going to determine from this rim to the X what my fight flight path is going to be and the peak of Coach Cheek. So let's get to work. So now we've got to determine my flight path. We know that we had one leg that was six feet and I'm just gonna draw a little sketch here. So we had six feet. We knew it was eight feet to the top of the rim up here. And what we're trying to determine is this distance here. Coach cheek through the air. So again, we've got our formula a squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we're gonna plug in our numbers now. Six and eight are our legs. So that's gonna represent our two shorter sides, A and B. So we've got six squared plus eight squared. And then that's gonna equal whatever this distance is, the square of that distance. So we represent that as C squared. So we're gonna go ahead and square six 
And we're going to square 8. 36 plus 64 gives us 100. Now, this goes back to solving equations involving squares. So what's the opposite of squaring a number? That's right, square root. The opposite of squaring a number is taking the square root. So if I want to determine what c is, I'm going to take the square root of c squared, and I'm also going to take the square root of 100. So 10 equals c. The distance, the peak of Coach Cheek was about 10 feet. Right here, 10 feet. That is how you use the Pythagorean theorem to determine the side length of a right triangle. Now, I can also use the Pythagorean theorem to determine a side length that might be a leg. The first time we used this, we were determining the missing hypotenuse. Now we've got a side length representing a leg that's missing. So I'm still gonna use the same formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the numbers that have been given to me. So I've got my two shorter side lengths, which are my legs, nine and then this side length that's missing. So nine squared plus, I'm gonna leave that as b squared. And this should equal the square of the hypotenuse or the longest side. The hypotenuse is always your longest side. That's gonna be 15 squared. So I'm gonna go ahead and square nine, I get 81 plus b squared equals 15 squared. See, this takes us back to our perfect squares. 15 times 15. That's right, 225. Now, I'm trying to solve for b. So I've got to use inverse operations. I've gotta take this 81 to the other side. So this is a positive 81. I'm gonna subtract 81 from both sides and I get 225 minus 81. Mental math? That's right, 144. And then again, back to solving an equation involving squares. If I wanna undo b squared, what's the opposite of squaring a number? That's right, taking the square root. So I'm gonna take the square root of both sides and the square root of 144 is 12. So 12 represents the length of that missing side for the right triangle. This is a 9, 12, 15. Hey, this has been another episode of This Week 